That's about it for the upstairs walls. I do have to add a couple little supports in between the rafters to help support some of these walls because they don't land right underneath the rafters in all cases. And I've got to put closets in these two bedrooms up here. But I figured I would talk to the kids when they get home from school today and see, since there's a couple different areas in each bedroom that we could put a closet, see how they want it to look, make it more of a bedroom kind of built for them. We could put a closet over there against that wall. It's shorter, I think it's four foot, where that wall, that, four, that wall right there is four foot tall. So we'd probably come out, the closet would probably be about three, three feet deep. So it would come up to a, more of a six foot level on the outside. And it would be the whole length of that wall, or it could be part of that wall. Or we could put a closet over here, up against this angled wall. Depends on what the kids want. Over here, there's gonna be a railing. My son decided that he wanted the, the flow through air coming through his room. So there'll be a railing on this side of his room. He won't be able to do anything over there. There won't be able to be a closet over there. He could possibly push his bed up against the railing if he wanted to, but you can't build anything over there because of that railing and the flow through ventilation. All this over here is gonna be railing and the air will be able to circulate up through the, the uh, floor joists there. I'm coming back down here into my daughter's bedroom. It's all sealed off over here because this is right above our bedroom. So we don't want the flow through air ventilation. But we could put a closet over here in the corner. Coming right to the edge of that 45 roof pitch there and coming right to the start of the window. Have a door on the end here. Deep closet, maybe have some stuff hanging on the side. Or, same thing on this side, it could be up against that little four foot wall and come three foot out. We'll see what they want to do. Try and be accommodating as much as possible. As long as it's not too extravagant. Our bathroom over here, bathroom door, walk in, this will all be countertop on the left side. That piece of OSB is roughly the size of a standard bathtub. I think it's an inch too wide and an inch too short for a standard bathtub. But that's where the bathtub will sit. That other piece of OSB is the rough end size for a toilet. It's what, how much room you need around a toilet. So that'll fit right there just fine. So I've got my plumbers coming back out. They're gonna show me what needs to happen. I'm gonna decide how much of it I can do and leave the rest to them. Hopefully the plumbing gets done within the next three weeks. They say they're a little backed up and not too bad and they're willing to kind of fit me in wherever they can because I'm gonna be doing, well, I'm gonna be doing as much as I can myself. So we'll get it going. Until next time guys, go make something.